Well, I'd like to welcome Captain Steve Mullins to the On TV studios here at Superior Media. Captain Mullins, thank you so much for coming up and sharing some of your time with us tonight. Uh, one of the reasons that we have you here, aside from the fact that you are already <laughs> spectacular, <laughs> is the yep. you are a going you are. A, you found out that you are going to receive a very special award, the Governor General's Award for Volunteer Service. Have I said that correctly? I believe so, yes. Oh. So, Steve, tell me about that. When did, when did you get the phone call that you were going to, you found out you were going to get this? So about two months ago, I got a call from the Governor General's office uh, informing me that I've been okay. uh, nominated and accepted and that uh, whether I would accept the award, so I did. And then I've just been waiting now for an opportunity to get it presented. Wow, so they were they called to see if you would actually want to accept the award even. Correct. So do yeah. you know how your name was nominated for that? I found out afterwards that uh, one of the officers at the squadron had taken some time, Captain okay. Jim Brown, right. to uh, put together all the required information and contact all the required people to nominate me for the awards. Oh, that is so special. So your family must be very excited for you. Exactly. exactly. And speaking of your family, you have <laughs> daughter Julie. Yep. And how old is Julie now? Uh, Julie is, what, 20, I guess now? And Julie is well on her way in university at Laurentian. Yes, yep. That's great. And you have also have Nicholas, your Correct. son. Correct. He's a little older, and right. he's busy at Humber. And he's at Humber? Awesome, yeah. great. And then, of course, your lovely wife, Lise. <laughs> yeah. So we'll say hi, Lise. <laughs> Give I a shout-out to Lise. Because <laughs> Lise is the person that contacted me to let me know that this was happening yeah. for you, and, the, and oh, your family exciting. is very excited. Yeah. So talk to me about the some of the things that they that the the group that put the award uh, nomination together, what were some of the things that they looked at? Well, they were looking for volunteer service over a period of time, okay. basically. So uh, I've done, you know, multiple locations or activities. And, yeah. and so I started uh, scouting probably, well, it's 31 years ago now. Wow. Involved with that. And then I started with air cadets at volunteering uh, in 94. Right. Until uh, 99 when I was actually uh, enrolled in the Canadian Forces. And mm -hmm. since then, it's been a part-time paid job. So there's that. And then I have been active with the Air Force Association right. in town here, the local wing. And I've been doing that for about 20 years. And then uh, all the stuff I do at my uh, local church. At Central United Church. Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. So I've been active with all the things going on there for 20 years too so right and I can speak to that myself um, every Remembrance Day Captain Mullins is responsible for supporting the Remembrance Day service and you bring the 155 the pipe and drum band with you exactly and it's always a very moving and emotional yes, uh, service yes, the, the congregation uh, enjoys it immensely and uh, yeah. the cadets have an opportunity to showcase some of their music and perform in front of people and they're always very excited to do it also. So. Right. Now Steve, you were also a cadet as a child, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, from 80 to 85 I was in the local air cadet squadron here in town. Okay. Uh, and that was quite mm -hmm. a... Uh, and do you remember who the commanding officer was at that time? Uh, Ray Rylett was the gentleman that was starting and then Vern Harden was the guy that took over. Oh sure, of course, we know Vern, yeah. Yes, right. yeah, so... And you were also the commanding officer of the 155 at one time. Correct. Yeah. Towards the uh, end of all the activities I've done with the squadron, uh, I've had an opportunity to be the commanding officer for two, three-year terms. So. Right. So what do you think that being part of the Air Cadet Organization has brought to your life? Wow. It, it, it's so much yeah. that it's hard to describe, right? Sure. It uh, gives you a lot of... Um, positive feelings because you've contributed to so many young leaders in the community mm -hmm. and elsewhere as they move through their their young adult life and so on. Right, so. yeah. So talk to me about some of the challenges that you've faced in in some of the volunteer roles that you've had. Uh, that's a hard one. I mean, mm -hmm. challenges are trying to get more young people involved. Right. Um, trying to get all the program happening right and the resources well and exactly and the support people and everything that yeah. goes along with that right we're quite privileged i think here in sault ste marie because the local air cadet squadron has been a very active squadron yes it has i've uh, you know over my you know 20 years working there 20 plus years i've seen um 
you know, cadets come from other squadrons and say, well, we only do this. We do shooting or range, or we only do biathlon, or we, you know, we have a music program. Well, here we have a lot of things. We have a very entertaining pipe band, as we've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, I introduced the Highland Dancing to it 12 years ago, which has made it a uh, very an entertaining presentation when yes. we can go to competitions. It adds so much rich texture Most to that. definitely. So we're going to just take a quick break here. Good. And you don't go anywhere, okay, Captain Mullins? <laughs> <laughs> I won't. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Welcome back to On TV. I'm here with Captain Steve Mullins, and we are talking about all of the legacy that he has brought to the community through his volunteer service. So, Steve, let's go back to the 155 and the, and the Highland Dancers yes. and the texture that that brings to the community and the, the, the fulsome experience. Most definitely. And, and we've been very lucky because I've, with the, the dance studio, uh, McLeod Highland Dance Studio, right. Catherine, she's opened it up so that I can bring any of the cadets. So it doesn't matter which of the three cadet corps. Um, and I've had dancers from both the sea, the air, and the army Right. And that's been very exciting, uh, but a lot more lately from the Army and the Air Cadet units. Yeah. And it gives a, such a dynamic presentation. And I look back at uh, the cardio and the positive things that it gives sure. the cadets, right? Yeah. And I, I mean, I say cadets because we've had both male and female dancers too. So. That's right, that's right. Yep. Now talk to me about the Scouts, because you are very, very involved with the Scouts. <sighs> yeah, I've, um, over my time as a, a, a leader and advisor, I've held a lot of different positions in the scouting system. Yeah. Um, I started in 80, well, in early 80, mid 80s, I guess it'd be. As a leader, I was a troop leader. I was an event advisor. I've moved up to the area commissioner's job. Wow. Um, I've done, you know, different appointments and different um, uh, paths, I guess, or, or career options. If you're looking at it from that perspective, and now I'm, I work with the ventures, which is like a, okay, an older age group, but they're more of an active and more self-planning, and that's been very exciting because uh, I've seen some amazing young leaders coming through that program too, and, and moving on. So that's been exciting. And one specific event that I'd like to share is the. Scouts Head Shave for Cancer. <laughs> yes. And you've participated from the very beginning. Yeah. And yep. tell me again, what is the importance of that event? Uh, really, the event is more of an education and awareness to the youth. Right. So, so um, it, it was started, uh, we had only a few numbers the first year or two, yeah. but we're up in the, uh, I'm trying to remember how many it's came. 32 or 35. Yeah, it's, in the, 40. I can't it's in the mid 30s there, yeah. now that uh, yeah. between the youth and the adults, and we're getting both male and female, which is very exciting. Um, they do the head shaving. If you see the pictures, we have uh, the whole group of us together. Yeah. Um, then the questions asked. Like I get asked at work. Right. Some of the other youth have been asked at school, like what this is about. So now you can talk about cancer and talk about right. awareness. And that's the whole big yes. picture of it all, right. right, is to get people talking yeah. about it. Because yeah. you're probably aware, as I am, we all have family members that have been touched yep. by cancer, right? Absolutely. And, and it, it's an opportunity for us to teach the young Yeah, and the youth. Scouts organization locally also had a couple of leaders. That definitely. Have In the last few years, we've lost a couple of key leaders for, yeah. from that. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, so it was a way to honor their legacy, yep. and it's not about fundraising. It's really about raising awareness. Correct, correct. <clears throat> so talk, let's talk a little bit about your brother, Joe, because he's <laughs> pictured behind us yeah, here. Yeah. So let's just let's reflect a little bit about that and uh, the, how he, how the, the, what the role of the Air Force has played in your family. Well, exactly, because uh, my brother went to Sioux College and got the aviation program. Right. And then from there, he went right to the Air Force. And he's, yeah. been, he's still a member of the Air Force now. Right. And he's been very fortunate. He uh, has been flying all his career. Yeah. He's had some key leadership positions. Um, he's, yeah. you know, he's worked at a squadron. He mm -hmm. was a standards officer. He's been the operations officer. He's been the squadron commander. Right. Uh, you, know, you name it, he's done it. And yeah. uh, you know, he's had opportunities to travel abroad. Yeah. He was in Colorado at the NORAD facility, so wow. it, it is amazing, yes. Yeah. 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 So the, the whole foundation was set very early in well, your family it, for... It, if you back up, it was <coughs> when uh, himself and myself were both in yeah. Air Cadets is where yeah. his 
wanting to fly started because right. he actually got his license through the Air Cadet program. That's incredible. Yep. Now, talk to me about the, your role with the Air Force Association. What are some of the things that the Air Force Association does? So the Air Force Association has been designed to help perpetuate aviation, okay. whether it's the military side or the civilian side. Okay. The local wing, its big focus is to support the Air Cadet Squadron. So we've created bursaries and we've uh, you know, made, made thing, opportunities available and try to really drive aviation home here in Sault Ste. Marie. Right. So. right, and the legacy of the Air Force Association is really something special here in our community. And yeah. with the armory, we, you know, we're a community that actually has an armory exactly. too. Exactly, so. we're very blessed at that building. So just before we wrap up, um, what do you think the importance of volunteer service is? I think it's a tremendous importance to what goes on in your community, right? Yes. I think it doesn't really matter where you volunteer. Mm -hmm. You know, people have things to offer, whether it's, you know, you know how to play soccer and you want to te teach soccer or a soccer coach. Right. Do you want to come and work with the scouting organization? <clears throat> you know, we give people skills, we teach stuff. Th there are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of places you can volunteer and it's so, so important to the community mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, the life of the community to have volunteers. Well, Steve, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us today. And we will be down at City Hall yeah, when you receive your award yeah. on Monday, the 13th of August. Yep. Well, thank you very much, Steve. And we'll uh, wrap it up here today. And thank you for the, to the viewers for tuning with us on ON TV.